My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violent, New Jersey. I'm about to record um, my persecutor. <laughs> um, there's few three people I want to record, though. Look, my whole setup, I'm using a phone, and my whole setup is just so wrong. It's just, I, you know, I'm not so tech suave. I didn't want to use that word because somebody tried to cop, copy me saying that <laughs> not too long ago. It was not. It was terrible. Okay. Anyway, so uh, this guy's gonna. I, I'm gonna record this guy. He's teaching all these false things about the old covenant. Sometimes he speaks in satire. Sometimes he, you know, he just does it on purpose. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and he's copying my words, my teachings. That was also stolen by, stolen by a, a Frank Apollo of Calvary Chapel in Violin. And um, this is uh, William Clay of Violin Nazarene Rainbow Church. So, um, so, so look, the thing is, he's teaching something that he is copying false teachings from a Frank Apollo. But what is happening is the Vine, New Jersey Police Department, who's trying to bury me and, and because I'm a theological genius, exposing all these churches' doctrines to be false, um, is getting them to speak in opposition to what I already taught against them that they know. Using another uh, call abusive church who persecuted me of the Chestnut Assembly, Getting them to copy my works, okay, around the same time that I actually spoke against them also. And this, this, these fraudulent Pentecostals, by the way, the Chestnut Assembly, um, who is um, teaching, they're going through all the um, verses and teachings of mine, uh, Bible verses that I already spoke against them. So is Frank Apolito, um and uh, William Clay. They have slight differences, of course. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, in regards to, of course, they're not going to be cookie cutter, um, but they are cookie cutter, and they're just like going all through on um, these things. Now, the thing is, what happened before? I've spoken about it before, where Frank Apollo was actually teaching these false doctrines. I would correct him, and he would teach my steal my doctrines and make slanderous remarks, uh, uh, slanderous remarks against me or whatever, um, uh, to basically torture me um, deliberately. Um, so he perverts the Bible, by the way, and says, oh, if you're tortured, you're not of God. They use my PTSD to torture me, by the way. Um, and it's really, I'm not going to get into all that, but it, it's really disgusting what they do. They are psychopathic. Um, so, okay, Frank Apollo is copying words of William Clay and me and the fraudulent Pentecostal. <laughs> William Clay is copying words from... The fraudulent Pentecostals, the, the uh, Frank Apollo, Cal Calvary Chapel, and me. Okay, huh. so it's very, very confusing. The Chestnut Assembly is stealing and copying words from me that is being copied for Frank Apollo and William Clay. Uh, that they're copying from me. It gets look. It gets a little lost because it's like, who are they copying it from? Because they're all echoing me. The thing is, I have not taken any of their doctrines, so they're trying to set it up and manipulate. And what they have done, uh, William Clay has done it, Frank Apollo has done it, and the Calvary Chapel has done it. I'm not saying there, there might be also other churches involved. I have basically uh, seen them take my original works and my original statements um, that I made and, and, and given them to other churches. So, um, but the, the main core... Um, battle is these three, actually there's four, there's the fourth one involved, Faith Bible Church, um, who also persecuted me, violent police has used them all to harass me and persecute me, and they're stealing my teachings, now the thing is, like, how does this system set up? Like, I mean, like, seriously, are they meeting somewhere? <laughs> like, why would you do this? I don't even understand this, but the, the, the main target is me. So what wound up happening, they were all stealing stuff from me, and then they wound up attacking each other, using each other, right? And then attacking each other, okay? And they were all attacking me, okay? So, they're stealing works from me, okay? So, and they're also echoing each other's false doctrines. The thing is, I have no false doctrines. Now, they all can say that. The thing is, I proved all their false doctrines to all to be false doctrines. And, um, 
they have taken my words only and twisted my words. Now, the thing, this is what happens. It happens the same thing that I explained that came from William Clay, where he mocks people all the time, constantly in every sermon. All right. And the thing is, a couple of people that's like kissing his ass, um, they know it. They don't care. <clears throat> and they're watching him practice these evil, these evil things. Um, a couple of them are questioning it. OK, so the other ones are just plain evil and they're just like, oh, God's love is unconditional. And they get all like, e I I'm not going to get into that. OK, Ugh. anyway, so the thing is, is that, um, how do I say this? Oh, I got it on. <sighs> so, um, yeah. So, um, the external law and internal law was stolen from me, um, by, uh, Frank Apato and William Clay. I'm not, I haven't heard it from other people. Um, it, they might obtain it or whatever, but like I said, I said it in another video. Um, I do that. I simplify things, make things very basic because, they bring so much confusion that is unbelievable and is unnecessary excess. And then they, you know, you know, even express the Bible, how it's like all complicated and all these other things or whatever. And they make it like 100 times worse. Okay. That they falsely even accuse of the Bible being. Okay. It's kind of like, um, a more, just like basically, uh, what the Talmud does to the Torah. Okay. Or the Tanakh. Okay. Um, and it, and it's, it's a deliberate confusion, by the way, it's actually a mockery and an attack on their own people. It's really sad, but, um, so, um, it gets complicated. It's more complicated than that. So I'm just giving some basics of it, just a reflection over there. <laughs> so anyway, the thing is, is, um, yeah, I'm going to record him talking about sacrifice. Um, like I said, he, he's twisting it. He's copying Frank Apollo and the Pentecostals, fraudulent Pentecostal. They're not in the Pentecostal of our, uh, that's, you know, uh, of our scriptures or whatever, but, um, he, he, how do I say this? Um, they're teach they te all teach like this false doctrine or whatever about you know Jesus sacri sacrifices so they don't have to sacrifice animals and things like that. Oh, you even made a meme on that. I don't even know if I should bring it up or not. Uh, a meme on that in regards to simplifying it for the carnal mind, and they are like carnally minded. Um, I, let me give that basic to that. People are like you know, um, relate carnal to like, you know, um, lust sexual or something like that. That's not true. Um, so it's more like on the balance of, on the, uh, on the balance on the, we'll just say expression of Paul, where it says you being carnal, I have to speak to you as carnal. So basically of a lower mind, I have to like bring my mind back down to you. And, you know, I do mean that as, I mean, it's not an insult, but it's, it is an insult to those who basically are of a low mind. who just like willfully stubborn against like knowledge and insight and you know make a mockery out of it themselves but you know then you know I, I simplify things for basics i mean you know i don't expect everybody to obtain everything i obtain or the the next person like i can't obtain like a lot of things other people can't obtain i mean i'm sorry that uh, they obtain all right so it's kind of like a, a physician yeah i mean if, I, if physicians started talking to me you know and what they do i'd be like huh <laughs> what <laughs> can you speak to me i was kind of like um how do i say that it is the terms used where it's just there. Can you speak to me like I'm a two year old? <laughs> you know, whatever. So, can you please, like, what? <laughs> Why did you say so? I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with one being more intelligent or whatever. But when you're basically rebellious against some basic common sense, then, then there's a problem. So I like to make it humorous for people. Like, I mean, it's okay if you don't understand all the complexities of the Bible and sacrifice and things like that. Please just do not listen to ideas that people just make up. It's like, how do you, who do you go to to confirm that and all these other things or whatever? And if you go online, it's so complex. All right. Um, so I, I mean, I, I, obviously I can't just get one thing out to the world or whatever, but I make it very basic for people like, look, Look, what what God is asking, okay. First of all, all right, and yeah, okay. It, it I say it's more sacred than I'm going to make it. It's not that I'm making it less sacred, but it is. It's sacred at the same time. But the reality is, I make it simple. It's just like, look, 
you have a problem, you there's offenses, you, you know, somebody did you wrong or whatever. Let's talk about this over a uh, dinner, okay? A barbecue. Let's have a barbecue. Let, 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 let's come to peace. Let's some eat, eat, you know, eat some um, brisket or <laughs> whatever, and you know, yada yada yada. And let's just talk about this. We relax. Let's do it. Let's eat something that's enjoyable. Yada yada yada. So you know, sacrifice. Look, they ate the food, people. They didn't just kill animals, like you know, and just use it as a scapegoat. I mean, well, yeah, they use a scapegoat, but. That's been perverted, too. Um, they didn't just, like... Look, every animal they killed, they ate, okay? All right? So, let's just... Th that's that's that simple. It's kind of like, you know, go to a steakhouse, you know, pick out your, um... You know, I don't know if they have a kosher steakhouse. <laughs> every kosher restaurant is their, their steak. I don't know if they actually even understand that you actually can do that. You know? Um, I mean, yeah, it's a little... I will be a little slightly different, but it's kind of like, look, you know, I, I, yeah, it's acceptable. You know, I mean, if the basic people look, go to a steakhouse, you don't have to have steak. You know, I mean, I, you go to a vegetarian restaurant if you want. Look, um, the reality is, is, um, look, uh, pick out, pick out, pick out your meal, right? Eat your meal, talk it over with your meal. Enjoy each other's company. You relax. You're enjoying something while you're having a disagreement. So, I mean, it's that simple. Um, make peace, okay? The peace offering. Uh, I don't know where it is. I, just, I had it on here. Um, yeah, the peace offering. You know, um, dinner and a, I wouldn't say dinner and a movie. Uh, dinner and discussion, so... <laughs> You know, um, I can't even find it now. Um, so anyway, I took up too much time already on this. I should actually just start this over. I don't know if I ruined it. All right, let me just go record. Um, yeah, grill you up some lamb. You know, have some gyros. <laughs> you know. You want go? You go Mexican. You know, <laughs> you know. I, I don't tell you. Um. So there is there there is actually a purpose symbolically. Um. All right. Let me just get to here. All right. Let me just open this. All right. So I'm going to record this. So this is all wrong. I just want to let you know. I'm just going to put this in here too. There is a, there is a. There, <laughs> how do I say this? He sort of did explain it um, obscurely in a way where he did, I don't know where, what sermon it was on. I wanted to record it, but he demonstrated rightly. I don't know if he actually did it knowingly. And the thing is, is it appeared that he did where he was demonstrating Jesus as the external law, even though he did not say that. Okay. Um... So, there's a reflected other principle, and the thing is, I don't know if it, it seemed more like an accident or whatever. It, it's not, look, it's not a secret. Like, he makes up things about faith and things like that or whatever, and he keeps everything a secret. Like, you're supposed to guess. If you tell me what this is, I get to decide if you're a minister or you're qualified or not or whatever. Right now, off the bat, you are wrong. Okay? So... He does these little guessing games. He speaks in opposition. What he's doing is not Christianity. And I have actually more to say about this or whatever. I'm going to wait into another video. So the thing is, is that, yes, there is satire and there is like sarcasm. And there is like, actually is a reflection of the wrongs of the people. Paul does this mo mainly. Okay. Um, it's a little bit different. Now, yeah, of course, Jesus reflected the wrongs of the people, not in a satir sat satire way. I'm sorry. I don't get tongue twisted when I try to say that, the other um, um, use of the word. So, anyway, the thing is, is that, um, yeah, it, it, I've mentioned it before where, I mean, I had to go research and find out what they were doing. I found it under writings of a false doctrine of acclaimed what 
evangelism is. Now he claimed to be an evangelist. Okay. Now the thing is, I could I couldn't get answers from these people. You know, why are you doing this? You know, why this? Why this? Trying to confront like their manipulation and all these things they're doing and speaking things in opposition and echoing me and my teachings and taking my teachings or whatever. I don't, you know, I didn't find anything about that. But well, I did. I didn't notice that how society stole from this and twisted it or whatever. It felt like the Catholics and the Muslims or whatever, and they gave it a a, a dead meaning. Like they twisted it and and killed it is what they did. Um, so the thing is, is that um, how do I say this? Um, yeah, evangelism. Uh, I thought I it was just very difficult, especially when you're in a library. It's very difficult to do that online when you're sitting there trying to pull up keywords about them and then trying to find traces of okay, what are they doing? Because the thing is, I know they learned it from somewhere. Okay, so I found it, and is actually I found what they do where they claim it is an ev evangelist. Is like, they didn't use the word tactic, but I'm just going to say tactic. Tactic where they speak in opposition to what they know to be true um well we're not going to do that no christian is going to do that um it, it, it paul reflects that um i you know but not like what he does paul gives a full insightful teaching Okay, of Edmonds identifying Paul. So I, I have to do another video on that or whatever. But that's why this is why a lot of people get confused. Like he may make things up, and I had to question that, you know, in regards to um, if he believed that Paul was true or not because he rented from his pulpit. Like Paul did not know Jesus Christ, and it's just like, okay. And there was another false teaching by the false teacher Lee King, who they were claiming that they. Um, how do I say, how do he say, how do he say it? I want to say, um, no, no, no. Lee, Lee, Lee King didn't exactly say that, but Lee King implied something that, um, Paul's letters were written like, um, 50 years after Jesus and just like, I had to disagree with that. That's impossible. Um, that's not true. Um, but this is what they said, or they said the gospels. And okay, no, I think he said, no, he said Paul's, uh, the Bible, he said the New Testament, and that would be including the written uh, gospels, known as the written gospels of Christ and Paul's writings. And uh, there was no mention of people, but he's saying all the New Testament was written 50 years later. I'm just like, no, that's that's not right. Like Paul's letters and his in interaction and um, 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 writings to the councils and things like that um, and arguments um is uh, at the time of Paul, and that is not 50 years later. So um, that is basically a teaching I did find online. Um, it's wrong. I've corrected it a number of times throughout the years online. That oh, the Bible didn't. None of that was written until like 50 years later. That's not true. That's not true. So um, anyway. Uh, I don't know why I kind of did all that. I didn't want to. I just want to go ahead and record this. Um, and it's 18 minutes already. So I'm going to go into this. Um, he's, um, so he's going to basically teach the, the false teachings from the Calvary Chapel. I've actually argued this. I didn't argue with it. I just basically shared my insight and view when I, you know, it was my turn to share a view and everybody had their discussion. Um, so, you know, they attacked me for disagreeing with them. Um, because when I said something, I wanted to enlighten them. I was scared every time because I was intimidated if I said something. Okay. And I, I kept going back and I kept being abused by them and they would make Make these nasty little, you know, um, snarky little uh, rude remarks or whatever, um, passive aggressive remarks, and it was really terrible, especially from Lee King and Sam Pierre. So he did it differently. So the thing is, is that, um, um, how do I say this? Um, there's a gnat flying around. Um, how do I, uh, psh, I lost train of thought. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to this. So, um, look, I'm just going back up. I'm going to go back up. So I'm going to throw this in here because I just want to jump ahead here. I'm going to put this in here. I know I got to go back up, but I had to put that information in there. So the thing is, there was this other thing, okay, in regards, like I was saying, in regards to faith um, and principle to where he presented something that he did not actually teach what it was. Um, it's slightly different principle and used then. Basically, he demonstrated like Jesus being the external law, but he did not say that, okay? But it, the, the true teaching um, in regards to that is, yes, um, 
that's what I'm saying. I don't know if he knows that. I don't know if he did that by accident or whatever, or came across that or just kind of slightly hit it or whatever, or, or I don't know. I don't know the words I'm looking for. I'm sorry. Uh, reflected off of that. But the thing is, is that he demonstrated, um, Jesus, um, what he was to the apostles then, okay? And then he slightly hit the passage where, um, uh, well, he read it where it says, if I do not go away, the Holy Spirit will not come, okay? So the thing is, well, the, the purpose of Jesus was to be that external law because of how they saw things externally. And the pattern through Jesus' teachings and Paul's teachings are the same, okay? Now, I'm not talking about echoing, because I did, I did, I did um, um, challenge Paul's work to see if he was an echo and all these things. No, he understood what the purpose of Jesus was, and he did teach it. And they, like, you know, they um, intensely... Like, I mean, it was like they thrived to have people see, um, to look for, um, from things from within. Okay. Um, so it's very, very reflective. Um, I, yeah, I try to challenge everything to see if Paul was a deceiver and if Paul knew the, the law and things like that or whatever, and the things that he wrote, he would be a really, really real. I mean, if they had the ultimate like deceiver, Paul would be able to do it. And he said that. He said that he sat there and says, and I used it actually in this church and it was to an, with another pastor or whatever, Dawn Reed or whatever, because they were sitting there using the word crafty. And I'm just like, and I was like, well, I'm looking from two different perspectives or whatever. And I used a demonstration of, um, crafty and I, and I use what Paul said in regards to said, uh, me being crafty, I caught you in your craftiness or something like that or whatever. So it was in reaction to, like what she said was kind of off. So she just looked at me. This I got that a lot. It's just like <laughs> I don't I don't know. But anyway, so um the thing is is um yeah, it, it's just like did Paul use deceit at all? I mean, look. Um I, I challenged every little aspect. And the thing is I even knew okay, I want to talk about Paul. <laughs> I I took I did a five year project of breaking down Paul's writings and challenging them against um well the gospels and, and Christ's teachings and the um knowledge of the Tenach, the old the old testament law or whatever. And it, it was just like, did he know the law, first of all? Um did he, uh, what, what, what was his purpose? And he teaches the law and it's completely accurate. If somebody else says that they do not know. I have somebody trying to copy me, by the way. Um, a, a, yes, a so-called Jewish rabbi false. Um, he's stealing my teachings. Um, so, um, yeah, I gotta go on. So the thing is, is, um, I actually think there's a third party that is using him because I was the only one that actually taught that, um, three letters of Paul, Paul did not write, and that's Thess Thessalonians, um, Timothy and Titus. Um, this is from my original works, by the way, what I broke down and discern. So they copy. well, they said the opposite. They, they basically made a statement and said, um, only 10, how is it? Only 10 letters were written by Paul or something like that. And then he changed it. Oh, well, this, well, something like that. And then he changed it. It was just like, oh, well, there was more letters, not, you know, um, um, that, that Paul did not write. He don't even know. He don't even know what Paul uh, wrote and can't even interpret Paul. And he's lying because he was making up lies that he don't even know what he's talking about and claiming that Paul spoke against the law. No, he did not. So, and then he actually misinterpreted Paul's writings when Paul's teachings were completely accurate to how it is taught, um, in the Tanakh and other prophets, which this, um, oh, his name is at the tip of my mind. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 to, um, I'm trying to look it up. To, uh, What's his name? Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, he's a fraud and he's, he's one of those people that is like, um, 
Oh, uh, Tovia. Okay. Tovia Singer. I couldn't, I couldn't, it was like there. It was like Tov, Tov, Tovia, Tov, 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 Tov. What? Anyway. So, um, he's full of it. He's like one of those people who manipulates and they all do this. Even Churchian people do this. Um, actually have no, but somebody else actually used the same principle. Um, I had people in violin to do this or whatever. when I interpreted the scriptures and even though they did not know Hebrew and I interpreted against their false teachings, they're like, Oh, you got to know Hebrew. No, I do not. <laughs> so, um, the thing is, I mean, I could never read the Bible and basically, well, not for some circumstances, but, um, uh, interpret basically, well, the, uh, wisdom of the prophets. Well, because, um, I speak by the wisdom of the prophets. Um, so identifying and discerningly what is in society and these churches are of, they're everything that the prophets spoke against. So, um, even copying my words is forbidden. Um, and they're sitting there and going to try to pluck out, you know, singled out verses. Ah, it's 25 minutes. You know what? I am going to do a part two. And I'm going to start from this because I do not want this at the end of my video. But, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to be recording, um, this. Ow. Okay, William Clay and, and Sacrifice. So, all, every single one of these churches are falsely teaching sacrifice. I have been, like, basically teaching and correcting false ideas about sacrifice, Jesus' sacrifice, and correcting it many, many times over the years. Um, so they may basically have people actually copied my work already. Um, so my work is original and right. And yes, I have debunked and proved all them to be wrong. Now they sit there and say, oh, they claim to be right. And so do I. Well, that, 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 that's irrelevant. <laughs> okay. And it's actually irrelevant that no, it does not make it right or true because I said it and I teach that I, uh, it's very important to me that I teach that. I said that in this church when I attended this church because, I learned that lesson when I was younger, not by what they taught, but because they were claiming a lot of things that were true, that were not true, that were not in the Bible. So I learned it by discerning principle against them. They did not teach me that. Um, so uh, they taught all kinds of lies. You know, I mean, they, they do all like all these churches do all this is in the Bible and it's just like, no, it isn't. Um, so, um, I'm going to, I'm going to end with that and I'm going to actually start a part two, um, recording, uh, his false teaching. I actually got to go over to Frank Apollo's false teaching on sacrifice. So I'm going to, um, do a, I have to probably do a few parts. So I'm going to end this with that for now.